Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We're doing a Ravenclaw run and I'm so excited to keep going. I cannot stop thinking about this game. I have to be honest, it's just too good. And I need to see where it's gonna go because I know it's gonna break my heart. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I would like to do today is this main quest where we have to go talk to Gladwin Moon, who is the um, Hogwarts caretaker. And I wanna see what he's got to say. Oh my God, everyone's eating, look. Didn't expect to see people eating at the table. <gasps> oh, can I join? Hey guys, can I eat? I want to eat. Can you explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours? Vivelio. <sighs> Field guide page. I thought we already found one in here. Owl lectern. This enchanted lectern serves as a spot from which the great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Very cool. I wish we could have food. Anyway, let's go find um, Gladwin. He must be around the corner. Right. Gladwin must be right over here. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Oh, we just have to wait for him. Never mind. <laughs> there he is. Hello, Gladwin. I still wonder what these mean as well. Those little monkey statues. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Hello. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, Hello. Uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting Did it encounter. happen to be at the Three Although Broomsticks? Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. To say oh, the of least. Of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Okay, Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens ah, when that light there you changes go. from day to night. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I did not expect it to have this really weird sped up cutscene. <laughs> oh, so at night time something happens. Interesting. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh my god, and you can only do Odd this at night? Aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Oh, interesting. Thank uh, you for you letting me know. that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Okay, because there's some that uh, I would love that to check out. day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Okay. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face... Was it a monkey? ...with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. Sorry, Thanks. sir. I need to get the skill card page. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeydukes. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Terrifying Sorry. creature that can see the future. Holy unnerving. <gasps> Beautiful design. I Look at this. Oh, what's up there? I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play. Some jackalapes <gasps> use the bogger wow. to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing. The I statues. would gladly help you. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. 
In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I wonder if he's a werewolf. What's in it for me? I'll be happy to help. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Is he a oh, werewolf? I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will we <gasps> get in? Yes, we're finally going to learn <laughs> Alohomora. Alohomora. Thank how. you. What about oh, I've been waiting for this curfew? moment. you? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find Let's be one honest, we would all sneak in the out. prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. <gasps> we haven't been in there oh, yet. And thank you. Thank you. I wonder if there's going to be prefects around. Alohomora, let's go. I'm so happy we finally learned this spell. Oh my goodness. All right, I guess we just have to get near. Alohomora. Use left and right joystick to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Ah. Okay. Ah, something's happening. Yes, there we go. This is cool. Okay. It's like lock picking. Well You're in. Remember. Use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Okay, this I'll, is I'll make sure to do just that. Restricted area of the castle, after all. Thank you. See you later. So there's going to be prefects, huh? Avelio. Okay, I don't know where we're going yet. Hello, Amora. Okay. Okay, oh. There we go. This is fun. I like the lock picking aspect. I used to love that in Skyrim as well. Wow. <gasps> Look how stunning this room is. This looks like Professor Garlic's room. Oh, what's this? There's a letter here. Dear Mirabelle, my dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When do you manage to come by? I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. Maybe the more fragrant ones? Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Never I've, nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend Serona. <laughs> Poor Serona. Oh, we found some Quidditch gloves. Hell yeah. Oh, I was hoping we could spin this. Let's keep snooping around from some dollar. Oh god, we're definitely in her bedroom. She has a lovely room though, lovely quarters. Look at this. <gasps> I love the window design. Look at the moving portraits. Can they see us? I don't know. Oh, it's stunning in here. Just gotta make sure we don't knock anything over. A non moving painting. Ah. Whose room is this? Professor Fake! Uh oh. <laughs> I'm in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not so secret Stugin penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into a modern age. Is this Imelda? Oh no, it's not. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to, to wizard kind are taken very seriously. I've made note of your concerns and, inasmuch 
As time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself and you may rest assured that we will that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and the guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the result of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Faris Spavin, Minister for Magic. He's already writing your response back. Let's um, keep looting. Okay, let's try not to knock over any books. I'm guessing the more of the statues we find, the more of a higher level we'll get, maybe? Casting Revelio reveals authority figures and enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Uh-oh. Revelio. That means someone's up ahead. What does this say? Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They're seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect that the culprit was Peeves. Of course it was. Like, who else would it be? Please keep an eye out and be careful. Mathilda Weasley. All right. I have a feeling. Oh, someone's up ahead. Okay. Are you guys ready? Who is it? Just a prefect? Oh, we have to lure them. What if we shoot one of the balloons? Mm. Oh, you can't go in there. That's annoying. Um... quickly want to get this so we have the house token go on lad let's do this oh fuck <laughs> no <gasps> no nice all right we've done it please give me the token thank you very much let's keep going it's annoying let's keep going i don't know if you should we go into that door? Maybe we should do that later. We're on a mission now. Oh god, it's Professor Weasley. You say that every year, Matilda. Okay. Is he gonna move? No. Oh god, I wanna get into that door, don't I? Or should we just go? For now. We'll come back. This is a cool statue. <laughs> be the prefect's bathroom we're going in um oh god i feel pressure because i feel like someone's behind me there we go okay hopefully the prefect didn't see that 
Oh. Should we take it? <gasps> Are they leaving? Okay, they're leaving. Good. Oh god. Oh god. Why are you coming around? Hello? <gasps> What the heck, dude? Okay, let's take the statue. Got it. Okay, now I just want to quickly see if we can get... Okay, Alohomora. Oh, God. It's another one of these. There you go. Oh god, I'm worried this, they're gonna come back. <gasps> okay, let's quickly Revelio this. Revelio. Quickly! The prefect's bathroom features a swimming pool sized bathtub that can be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. That, oh god, what a dream to be able to bathe in that. Oh god. I don't need this. Let's go. Can we do this? Levy. Shit. Avelia. Let's get the flu flames going. Okay, hospital wing. Mm, there's something else downstairs though. Okay, whatever. We'll just go get this first. This is for another time. Um. What are you up to now? Let's read this real quick. Unicorn Fountain. This majestic unicorn fountain gives an air of serenity and calm to the hospital wing at Hogwarts. I should begin my rounds now. Oh God! I suppose Professor Black knows best. <laughs> Shit! Terribly disappointed. Shit! Being cancelled. Shit! Balls! Ah! Try again. What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. You didn't hear anything. Rule. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Can we go? Uh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and uh, flying about and it's people the in the beds. Okay, we've got the statue. Avelia. Oh, we should take this as well. Okay, we're gonna have to come here during the day. Okay, we need to return to um, Gladwin now. I'll come back to loot this place. Ooh, there's another field guide page. Jewel encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. <laughs> oh, the Ardennes! Belgium! Where are you going? 
What the? Excuse me, you're not supposed to come up here. Go away. You're stuck. Oh my god. Hello, Mora. Oh god, I'm stressed. She might come back. Oh god, please don't be behind me. Please don't be behind me. Please don't be behind me. Get in! Oh my goodness. Okay. Darling Abraham, you would be overjoyed to know that the local children have taken to play gobstones in the streets just outside of your study window. They're quite charming, I must say. I noticed the youngest was without her own set of gobstones, so I lent her one of yours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I do hope things are going well at the castle. I'm relieved that you arrived safely. Dreadful story about that gentleman from the ministry. Was he really trying to travel with Eli Eliazar? I can't pronounce his name. And a student? Simply dreadful. Do write when you have a moment. I'm most eager to learn about your stories of this year's Sumner's Court participants. Your students so adore you, my dear. With love, M. Oh, um, what? So creepy. These are cool though. What a cute room. I like the, um, it's so quirky. This is such a quirky room. Gear slots are full. No, I need to sell my stuff. People keep telling me this. I will guys, I will sell my stuff in Hogsmeade today. Let's hope we don't get caught in our final moments. Hello, Gladwin. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous I caretaker, who would be doing that, you know? to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am no. determined with your <laughs> help to discover the identity of my tormentor. We'll help you. If I have the time, but I make no promises. No, we'll be able to help. It's I want to learn a little more, Ak. Come on. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. A gentle person. And I, have I love it. To offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you That's to use a disillusionment That's another hit at him being a werewolf. And his necessary. name. How many statues are How there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. I've seen a few. I remember well, seeing one in the potions classroom. You, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Cool. What will I get for helping you further? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Okay, can't wait. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. No worries. Understood. Thank you. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gladwin. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. I'm on it. Don't you worry. I've got you. All right, guys. That's another main quest done. Apparently, we need to do one more. There's a new quest available. First of all, let's pet this cat. Hello? It's been a while since we've petted one of these. Oh, it's such a cute one, too. Oh. Hello, friend. Hey, Serona. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Of course. I'll come help you. We need to go to Hogsmeade anyway. My sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm, I'm sorry. Soon. I want to so do this. You, I want to do this quest. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. 
Oh God! Now that you've attended oh, Beast's so class, much mail. I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Thank you. Bye. Anyone else? Oh my I've not God! Heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Oh, I kind of want to help her too. That sounds really sad. Oh my gosh, that was so much mail. I'm quite overwhelmed. However, my bay called, you guys. Actually, let's go to Hogsmeade first. That's something I want to do first. Let's go to Hogsmeade. And um, talk to Serona, but also just sell stuff. You know, I just want to I want, I just want to go sell some stuff. I guess we should go to the clothes shop and sell stuff there. So if we go here and then go there and sell our stuff there. Let's do that. Hello. Oh, come on in and have a look around. I've come to no sell touching. my stuff, yeah, sir. Sell? If I haven't said it before, it's sell. a pleasure doing business with you. This one's okay. Sell. Oh my god, I finally have so much money. I suspect you have a sharp eye for And fashion. stuff to do. Thank you. Be sure you. to stop by whenever you're about. See ya. Right, let's go find Serona now. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you're happy that I sold all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so what quest should we do first? Um, we can meet Deke, we can meet Sebastian. Um, I think... Oh, I really want to do Sebastian's quest. I want to start with... I'm sorry, I just really want to start with Sebastian's quest. I'm just so intrigued by his storyline and I know it's going to break my heart. So I just... Okay, let's go meet him. I'm sorry. You, you cannot stop me, I'm afraid. I love that we dropped everything to do Sebastian's quest. It's like, mm, sorry, Bay called. <laughs> Oh my god, it keeps going! I didn't realize we could go this far. Like, what's down there? Oh my god, there is so much to do. Guys, it keeps going. We're gonna have to check all this out as well. Oh, wow. There's a cave here. Oh god, there's so much. This is the Feldcroft region. Are these baddies? Yeah, they are. Bad guys. I actually cannot believe this map is this big. What the hell? This must be the end of the map, surely. Oh my god, it's so far out. I'm actually so impressed by how huge this game is. Like, how are you ever going to be able to do everything? Okay, Sebastian, I'm coming. Hey, bud. There you go. Let's wait for him. <gasps> My lover. You hey. made it. I did. Flew all the way over here for you. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt out. safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. Hmm. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm that. on the hunt for answers. Why is if that? If I to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. <laughs> I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Okay. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. I'm honestly so honored that you want to trust me with this. This way. In the shadow of the estate. Here we go. I feel like we're about to find out a lot more about Sebastian and his background. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. It's really sad. Here we are. What a My cute little cottage! Be just <gasps> Is this your home? Okay, let's enter. I am curious. I want to explore this place after as well. Aha! <gasps> Sebastian, where did you. Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel things cannot reverse a curse. 
Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Oh, I just wanted to, like, give but her we something. Tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! <laughs> now look what you've done! Don't blame Sebastian! <laughs> it's not his fault! Oh, Sebastian! We only just came in! Where I'm did sorry we go? you had to see that. Oh, Sebastian, I'm mind. sorry. I just need a moment alone. Okay. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I just want to give him a hug. Let's go speak to them. Be like, what the hell, I'm man? Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Let's talk are to you her. All right, Anne. I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I really I like her, actually. Hogwarts. You can tell she's but a raven I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. As in Hecate. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's lawyers. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They really look like they each both other. Mean well, Her and I Sebastian. Know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I wonder what the curse was. Sebastian's made up his mind. I can try. Let's try. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. I Thank wonder if our ancient by. magic could help. I wish you As well. As it seems to be quite extraordinary. Let's um read this letter. Dear Anne, Hogwarts is, isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. He's clearly thinking about her a lot. Oh. There's another letter from Anne to Sebastian. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. <laughs> The sass of a brother and sister. Oh, you can tell he's really concerned by her. They have a cute little house. Alright, let's speak to the uncle. That boy will fray my last nerve. Let's speak to him. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He didn't even do anything. He doesn't know when to stop. I don't like this guy. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something. I feel like that's a little bit easy for us to say. Let's just say I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers it's easier to don't hope. know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, you will find it. Mm -hmm. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. I have soon. a feeling our ancient Giving magic will be able to help. It's cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. 
I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. I wonder if that's kind of foreboding what's going to happen. Sebastian might go too far. And we might go down with him. Out of love. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Let's talk. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He was out of line. He was trying to do what was right. I do think he was out of line, though. I feel like he shouldn't put all the blame on Sebastian. Like, he didn't trigger that. He didn't mean to. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. All right. Take me there. Maybe Anne we can help. Loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. I All do the debris love Sebastian. you'll see is from oh, whatever's look. going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. It's an interesting place, this. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I wonder what exactly happened. I mean, I'm sure he's going to tell us. Oh, Sebastian. I want to give him a hug. Oh! Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of... dead wizard in my book. Sebastian? Nice, thank you, Sebastian, for your help. I will make you pay. Sebastian? Ow. Bruh. They're literally right by the village as well. Fuck, I keep using the wrong button to dodge. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Are you kidding? Sebastian. Fuck. I'm about to die. Okay, one more. Oh, did we get all of them? Made your last oh god! I don't have any health. Alright, let's go then. Keep trying, baby. Oh god. I'm so close to dying. Oh my god, I'm dead. No! What is happening? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get him. Bye, baby. Bye. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Nice. You made your last mistake. Well, clearly you made your first, cause this is not gonna happen, babe. I thought he said dumpling for a second. I'm a dumpling. Ow. Oh fuck. Get him. Oh, is that all of them? No, there's some more. Where are they? There. Vegetables in cup. Ow, fuck. Ow, I swear I pressed the button. Fuck. Nice. There's so many of them. Oh my goodness. Sir, please. Did we do it? That was a bit more than I bargained for. Jesus. I tried to warn you. And it was so close to the village. The village is right there. Sorry, I'm just gonna loot. It's a lot of loot, my dude. I will follow you. Just um Well we can fix this card actually. Let's do that. Repair it. There you go. Pavelio. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh god. Oh, there's a Merlin trial up here. Which is why they were all here. Oh, okay, god, let's go back. We'll come back! <laughs> let's follow Sebastian then. I was hoping Sebastian would give me some freedom, but you know, oh, I guess I can just run in without climbing the wall. Ah, <sighs> Sebastian, let's talk. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried oh, someone would be hurt. Oh, bless her. She seems so lovely. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly... An icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something. They'll kill for no reason. They are probably trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. Hmm. It may be grasping bigwigs. Great I minds think alike that there is what might I tried to say. Here <laughs> that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? All right, let's do it. They seem to have set up camp here for a they have stations for everything. Revelia. All right, so let's have a quick look around. What is this? Let's investigate this. this. Been abandoned long since I've lived here. 
Rumor was a of some sort. professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. We could check these. And collect stuff from the chest. Makes them a dollar. Pavelia. Bless, look at all these ruins. This is horrible. Sebastian, I'm so sorry. Some more coins. Revelia. Mm, oh. Ugh. What is this? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Yeah, these are huge weapons for them, I feel like. They're surprisingly strong. <gasps> they were trying to mine something. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. What are they hmm. trying to dig? So I wonder the ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Okay, let's see. We're Definitely trying to dig something up. <laughs> All right, let's go back in here. Portrait. Sebastian, over here. Who is it? Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? You can't see who's on Could there. Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. All right, what's in the well? This well looks familiar. <gasps> Wait. Is this the one that we saw in the ancient magic, like in the map chamber Sebastian, thing? I've seen this before. The yeah, house, where the, the drought world, was, right? You know? What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. It is. This is where the drought thing took place. Uh oh. That means they're onto it. <gasps> Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Oh my god. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and See? a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. Oh god, we're gonna have to tell him everything he's so behind. It. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. Oh, you they just wait, Sebastian. Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and I promise I'm this not house bad. belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. <laughs> it is all a bit much, isn't it? It does and sound like, like it. That. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. All right. Look at this. Ah. Someone piled this here for a reason. Should we get Depulso out? Only one way to find out. Let's go in. Huh. The, the bed. Stairwell. Oh! Oh my gosh, there's Why smoke. blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth but then a people can look. just climb over this wall. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Should we have a look? There's loads of roots. Oh my gosh, and the roots are moving. Ugh, what, what just happened? Is it Devil Snare? Wait, let me get Lumos out. Lumos. It's Devil Snare. 
<gasps> we found a diary entry by Isadora. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can to all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems arbitrary not to help them, as it would be to rid them of their torment. Journal entry of his adores. I should hold on to this. Look at all these chairs piled up. Oh god, and we're trying to do the same thing. Oh, there's more. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous... Yes. <laughs> Consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems this these ability. journal entries are from oh. Isadora's travels. There's more behind here. Lumos. Well, we're going in. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. No, Sebastian. I know it sounds strange. Honestly. But Nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. <laughs> He's I like, I'm done with this. Through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, <laughs> but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Oh, that's well tough, then. though. Invisible, secret, ancient, magic passageway? Here we come. But that means loads of people can get in and into the castle. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's do this. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Because that means that everyone who has access to this, the fact that the goblins tried to cover this up, it means they have access to this place. And to Hogwarts. Why would the door lead us here? You can't get back. Sebastian, look. Oh my god, Trace of Ancient Magic, stop. Sebastian must be shocked. Oh, a missing painting or map? It's a map of some sort. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. Well, a lot is a missing. Note. Let's have a look. So some kind of wood. Or these just symbols. Anything helpful in the notes? Not at the moment. A Just a symbol, symbol of ancient magic. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? Oh my I god, can't yes. I'm sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Mm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. That's a good point. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. That's okay. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. The Chamber of Secrets. Sounds worth looking into. Or no. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Okay. I have no idea Thank our you. visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. 
But I'm glad you told me everything you did. That's okay, Sebastian. We're friends. I'll be in know. touch. Till then. Okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. It's gonna be okay. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry your uncle is so horrible to you. Ooh, we almost leveled up then. Um, I might quickly see if we can click that channel challenge thing. Um, we're going for the quests, so let's get this one. Um, and then... Cool, that's it. Right, next quest, you guys. What do you think we should do next? Meet with Deke? Let's do that next as well. Let's do um, Deke's quest. Let's go to the Room of Requirement. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. A knapsack? <gasps> Wait a second. This is for the beasts. Is it? It reminds me of Newt Scamander's suitcase. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. What did I tell you? I'm a genius. <laughs> I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. Oh, we're going to rescue all of so them. perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. Sorry, guys, it's and late. Luckily, <laughs> Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. What a great name, Knapsack. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. Come along, then. Oh, the way he walks. <laughs> so cute. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Oh, no, let's go now. Actually, um, let me quickly see if we can make some more health potions. Some more wig and wealth potions. Um, where is my potions thing? Also, uh, let's quickly inspect some of the gear and identify some of the gear. Lovely. Then let's make our potion. Wigan weld. That'll only take a few seconds. I'm just gonna make a few, guys. Sorry. I'll skip ahead. I made quite a few potions, so let's go um, deal with these poachers. Let's go. Teach I'm ready me. to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deep <laughs> knapsack. <laughs> Love that word. Knapsack, knapsack, knapsack. Knapsack. <laughs> All right. Oh, so beautiful. That was Yay. a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. Oh, I'm a so nasty sorry, Deke. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I'll help you, Deke. Oh, he's such a lovely creature. We have arrived. I hear that people misuse Deke elves. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. Yes. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Let's try it. I kind of feel bad for just snatching them. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you can see their gender. Nice. Oh, that didn't look too nice. You got one. Oh, he's so cute as well. Look at him. Guys, what should we name him? I'm gonna name him. Um Accio. Oh god, sorry, Deke. Oh no, sorry to the puff skein. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I just I just accidentally hit it. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. I don't want to know. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Oh, 100%. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a, a beast jobber. that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. Jobbernol. Right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful... Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. 
Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's try. I kind of want to do that first, you guys. Let's, um... Rebellion. Oops. Let's get our broom out. And fly there. Woo! Look at this beautiful tree as well. There's guys down there. They'll probably be down there then. Hey, Deke. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Let's. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Don't Perhaps worry. we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow Ooh, flying beasts. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay, what if I can't find any beasts? Any tips for rescuing elusive beasts? Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, okay. it can also Noted. help That's very good to know. that are generally hard to catch. Thank you, Try Deke. using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Let's do that. What was it like working for a poacher? Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? You don't master? have to tell me, though. Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income Ugh. to be used for potion Ugh. ingredients and labor, and Deke will not say more. I'm sorry, Deke. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made oh him do. Oh my god, I forget that house elves can just be ordered to... Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good do luck. stuff they might Deke not want will to be do. Waiting. It's horrible. Um, okay, quickly, let's add Levioso back to this. Um, let's add the knapsack. And then let's add... Mm, compulsive. Okay. Beast habitats can be found in different locations in the world. Wherever there is a beast habitat, you can be sure to find magical beasts, ne beasts nearby. Okay, let's see. Oh, what a beautiful tree. Levioso. Do we have it? Oh my god, we've got one! I'm not going Job to no. Oh. I can't wait to start caring. Ooh! Oh god. I nearly fell off the cliff. <laughs> start caring for them. Alright. Deke. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. All right. See you soon. Let's keep going. Just gonna check Rebellion. my Levioso. Oh, love this tree. So cool. This is so wholesome. Oh, there's a flu flame thing here. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be. Let's speak to him. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So. Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Oh, that's okay. We'll wait. How did you come to be at Hogwarts? How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Yes, who Deke's freed you? prior master had no family. Oh, he so died. when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the ministry. Oh, that makes Deke sense that it works that way. the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> 
Deke's friends were not as fortunate. <sighs> I totally get why Hermione started her I shall club. Go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Hermione started the club, if you don't know this. Ooh, you can advance time by accessing the map and pressing R3. <gasps> Excuse me, what? I didn't know this was a thing. Learning every day. Oh, passed out on the floor. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> hey, guys. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Beast out of rescue range. Yes, we've got it. Next time I need to use Levioso again. Professor Howen will never believe this. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Deke, you're the best for showing me this. And I guess you can breed them as well, can't you? It was a bit trickier than the others. I think. But I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Just in case there's Shame like rare species. Dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. Well, You'll be thank able you to so rescue much, many Deke. more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Okay. Right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. We'll do it now. I feel bad for just carrying them around. Let's go back. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Okay, but, let's do um, it. Not enough room to let them out here. That'd Imagine be chaos. All those beasts running amok. <laughs> I would love it though. It all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? It looks like a greenhouse. Oh. Well, you've done it. Destroyed some of it, but created what something is new, I guess. Deke isn't sure. Only one way Used to find out. Use the room out. of requirement to what I needed it to. Be. Meet you inside when you're ready. All right, let's go. Oh, it's almost like Hermione's bag. Look at this! It's amazing! Oh god, I'm tearing up again! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium <sighs> of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. This world makes my heart sing. I just... How beautiful, like the music, the scenery, the environment, the lighting, look at everything. Oh shit. Just wasted some cabbages. Select a beast from the inventory to add. Beast can be rescued in the highlands. Add it to the vivarium. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look at the moon calf. Oh <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute! Oh. I hope they're not going to be lonely though, we took them away from their friends. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. We're going to have to get Indeed. two of each. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts okay. in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Good to know. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as which is so useful for potions, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, 
Deke can show you how to use them. Thank well. you. I shall let you know when I have some. Oh, guys, look at this. When magical beasts are nurtured, they provide materials um, with magical properties. Your beast feed and beast petting brushes are some of the ways to nurture your beasts. How about I brush ye? Most excellent. And you get some food. <laughs> and then where's my bird? You get a brush. And then the puff skin gets some food. Here you go, buddy. Oh my god, the puff skins are so cute. <laughs> and then you get a little brush. Oh. There you go. <gasps> Look at his little eyes. He's purring. Oh my. Look at him. Oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just. It's just so beautiful, dude. Have you had your food yet? Hey, buddy. Oh, thank you. Where's my bird? Have you had food? Oh no, you're gonna give me a feather. Thank you. Oh, it's just the music, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm fully tearing up. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety ah, of ways. Ah, okay. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the it's loom like adding can do. To something, I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Enhancements. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys. I'll get you more friends soon. All right. Conjure an enchanted loom. Um, enchanted loom. There we go. Uh, let's do a blue one because that just suits the. Oh no, let's do this one because that suits the interior. Oh god, there's no space, guys. I'm gonna have to move things around. Okay, listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redecorate at some point soon. For now, let's put that there. I'll find a better space for it at some point. Today's not that day. All right, let's interact with it. Um. Gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trade recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Lovely. So what shall we upgrade? Some of these already have upgrades. Let's have a look. Let's upgrade it. Let's upgrade this. There we go. We've upgraded upgraded loads of these. Oh god. Oh no, I see. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's apply a trait. Um goblin resistance. Oh my god, these are all the things that we can unlock. I'm so overwhelmed. There's so much to do in this game. Um, I'm going to do the goblin ones because we seem to fight them the most often. Okay, there we go. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. All right, let's apparate. <laughs> so cool. I'm going to keep using that more often. Right, Deke. I used the enchanted loom. There you go. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. 
For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you, Deke. Does a loom work with all clothing? I'm sure it does. Thank you for your help, Deke. Thank you, Deke. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't wait to decorate this room finally. So cute. I'm so happy we did that quest. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I cannot believe that we have um, fantastic beasts now. All right, let's pick a final quest to do for today, you guys. Um, oh god, there's two more before we can do the next trial. <gasps> Astronomy class! That's a class we haven't done yet. Um, oh, we can meet Natty for something as well. And then there's assignments. Um, I think I'm going to keep the assignments for another one. I feel like we're on a good roll here to, um, I don't know, get some main quest done. I might do this one as the last one. And then next time, we can do the final main quest and then see if we can get as many of these out of the way as possible. Let's go do astronomy. I just wanna, I'm a nerd, okay? I just wanna go do... I just wanna go do my quests, okay? You can't blame me, I'm a Ravenclaw. All right. Spin these. Of course. <laughs> and let's go to the astronomy class, which is so beautiful. Once again, everything's just stunning in this game. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Looked like Sebastian's sister. Ladies. Professor Shah. Hello. Astronomy Ooh. is not nice divination. Clothes. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. <gasps> Exciting! Oh, can you tell I would love going to school here and learning? Oh, clearly it's very cold. <laughs> Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Okay. Oh, he looks so shocked. Okay, next time we'll get our own. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. All right, try not to break his. There you go, how beautiful. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Well, wear a thicker coat. The great she doesn't look cold at all. Past. What a queen. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? Yes. Everyone looks so cold. Look at all of them shivering. Dismiss. <laughs> she looks so done. Hello again. Brilliant class, wasn't it? Yes. I prefer astronomy over portions, don't you? I like of all course, of them. Of course, we Ravenclaws tend to do well in any class. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, humble. Hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. That's I'm not going to say no to that. Minute. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, sounds intriguing. I wonder what he's got to tell us. Okay, let's go now. Actually, um, my stargazing is thank you. Could. What good that did. 
Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <laughs> Gareth. <laughs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. <laughs> he is funny. He does make me laugh. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. She sounds very skeptical. Maybe if you use both. Hello. Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. <gasps> Revelio. Hello. Hiding away, astronomy telescope. The telescope is a finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. I do wonder what else we're gonna find. Oh, we're level 22. The constellations are beautiful. Not sure they're worth dying of a cold for. So but dramatic. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Um, thank you so much, Professor Shaw. We're gonna find this um, telescope. The perfect night for. I'll meet. Where did you? Oh, say sorry. That we had to go there first. I'm sorry. Of course. Sorry, sorry. I'll go now. Bye, bye. Okay, I'm guessing this is it. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. Oh, should we um? Confringo. There you go. Let's read this. Oh, we don't have to. <laughs> I hope there's gonna be some kind of reward at the end for spinning all of these. Right. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. <sighs> well, he probably took really A good care of it. Night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Let's quickly speak to Professor her. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. I'll try my we best. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Oh yeah, actually that's a really good question. I noticed you dismissed divination. Why? Am I right in thinking you are interesting debate? By divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Cool. All right, thank you for your thank insights. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I cannot wait. I am wait. glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. What a pun. <laughs> All right, let's go find Amit. Hello. Night for... Oh, hello, hello again. again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. Yeah, are you I sure? I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is um something else. He needs me to yes. do something for him. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to <gasps> find be hidden fun. constellations. Okay. You want me to find it? So the telescope came with a catch. And you need I can see to right you through you, my it. dude. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than. That's well, so rude. Oh my cowards. god. I'm so sorry. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right, let's do it. Exciting. Oh, Let's no do need it. to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Let's go right now. Oh, wow. Right a beast class. Oh. In the dark. The table is yes. on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Interesting. Some eerie music. Uh, it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is fun. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's actually really fun. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. 
Oh god, there's eerie music though. The head. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Oh, he's scared. So. Oh my goodness. Ah, meat. Making me go first. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be uh, concerned about. What the hell? It looks like oh, someone's in there. It's, it's just not you. as tidy as I expected. Revenia. Oh, wait. What's this? Caged bathtub? What? Bad bathtub. <laughs> I shall sentence this bathtub to 10 years in Azkaban. Um, this bathtub has been kept behind lock and key as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. <laughs> oh my god, that is horrible. Oh, there's loads down here. Rebellion. Okay, um, let's... Let's go. Are you following? Amit? Lumos. Lumos. Revelia. Someone here clearly liked music. Confringo. Let's keep going. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Amit. Oh, is this it? The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Like this? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill <gasps> out our star chart. Look! Lyra. Lyra? Lyra? I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. I appreciate it. It's so fun, actually, that you can just sneak out with people and then do things like this. Like, how fun would that be to actually do at Hogwarts? Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> Oh. This is only the beginning. This is you so will find sweet. More tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, this don't is so bother returning awesome. it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you Thank so you. much. You're welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, really you know, and, and how you pronounce your R. <laughs> Look I at have... him, he's nerding anyway, out. <laughs> glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. See you soon. Thank you. This was great fun. That's another quest done, you guys. I'm kind of wondering if I want to squeeze one more in. God, there's so much to do in this game. <gasps> it just keeps going. I wonder if anyone's already finished all of the side quests. Okay, maybe let's do Serona's um, quest and then I'm gonna go to sleep. What? Oh, I thought. <laughs> For a second, I was like, is that a snake? Because I just saw the tail wiggling. <laughs> um, let's go into the three broomsticks. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Oh, let's quickly speak to her, actually. Miss Willard, hey. could you remind me what it is that you needed? Of course, a swarm of beautiful but I won. I've done some of them. Anyway, let's speak to Serona real quick, just to see what she wants. Hello, Serona. I received Hello. your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did. We're actually working together. Um, let's just say we spoke with him. I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat. Thank you for respecting and that. And I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. Aww. Whatever your plans. I love that they're I, so concerned with of us. Course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. Great She's name. She's lovely. 
Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. Aww. I've seen her a Full few circle. times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. Oh, I should have enough for that, actually. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Cool. I'll try to go and see her when I can. I don't know, Pry. It, it seems quite a private me. thing. And to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. Bless. You'll find the hamlet right. just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. I will do. Thank you, Serona. See you later. I love all the Halloween decorations. Look at this. Oh, God. This game. This game. Nice. Ooh. Can we go in here? I don't know if we're supposed to. Climb back up. We'll go around. Loot the place, though. Unidentified head item. Oh! Lumos. Where is this? Oh, it's on the path leading up to this. Let's quickly go get the butterfly. Oh. Um, and the path is... Lumos. Down here. Thank you. Come with me, my darling. And then we'll put that here. Perfect. Let's see what it says. Field guy page. Nice. All right. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, we should be getting close now. Oh. Revelia. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Let's have a look. Fire. More stuff. Ooh. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, my God. You're sleeping in here? Are you guys okay? I'm so sorry for intruding. Are you hiding or something? All right. Hogsmeade Valley. Actually, I don't know if we've been down oh, here before. Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Let's just go into all of the houses and have a look. Dear sister, it's been some time since we've hear heard from you. <laughs> heard from you? Oh my goodness. Heard from you. I'm clearly very tired. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and I hope that you're doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've all made our peace with your decision to become an Auror. As dangerous as it is. You must live with your life... So you must live your life and follow your path. You're doing so in the service of the wizarding world, and I'm proud to call you my sister. I must inform you of something that you might find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near the town. <gasps> oh, now that is interesting information. The poor thing's most certain to learn a tragic lesson about fundamental velocity of locomotives. <laughs> right soon, Eddie Thistlewood. How would you know, Eddie? Avelio. How did you end up in there? God, there's so many letters. God, there's so many. Um. Okay, here's the first one, guys. Reflections of a former Auror. Retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoy the leisure time, of course, but I do not miss the excitement of hunting magical fugitives. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing a Ukrainian iron belly through a muggle city and then obliviating all of the muggles who saw you? A foil or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chomping cabbages, using only a single basket of bouncing bulbs? When the ministry finally makes all of my cases, old cases public, my neighbors will never look at me the same way again. Old Madame Thistlewood down the lane is the one who put that nasty brute 
so-and-so in Azkaban. For now, I can merely insinuate, lest I divulge something confidential. I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Azkaban. Not on appealing thoughts. Well, I suppose I should check on my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. <gasps> Sorry, I'm going to take your money, Madam Thistlewood. I know it's not very good of me. I have a lot of time these days to reflect upon my career. I wonder if the good we did balances out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we som sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I'd like to think so. But then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away in Azkaban. If I were, then perhaps I should feel differently. It's a quandary without a solution. Or at least, not one that I am likely to solve. This is the problem with retirement. It leaves one too much time, with too much time to dwell upon bygone problems, but there's nothing one can do about it. Oh, and my bluebells died. Oh. It sounds like they're having a little bit of a crisis. Okay. I'm dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day. I always made certain I could defend my decision before the Wizengamot, should the need arise. I was required to do this on rare occasions, and it was never a pleasant surprise, no matter how confident I was. Despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry. Despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent. Um, and when I hung up my badge, I left behind quite a few unsolved cases. If I had all the time in the world, I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity arise to revisit one and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. Never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they are yours to begin with. I fear that in our haste to meet out justice, we may inadvertently become the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong. I doubt it. Oh, and I'm through with gardening. I need a new hobby. Uh-oh. Maybe they turn bad. That's what it sounds like. All right, so let's go out. Oh, it's light outside now. Oh, God, there's so many people. Let's get these flu flames, flu flames first. Oh, my gosh, I can't talk. It's late now. Yeah, yeah. Warning. Dug box sighting. Be careful. Oh, look at this little house elf hiding out here. Hey, buddy. Enjoying a little snack? <laughs> Let's have a look. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. This is so cute. Oh, is this Madame Thistlewood? No. Who is this? Hello? Dorothy Spottle. There you go. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumonts? Hello, Mrs. Spottle. Actually, Serona asked if I could come and see you. Bardolph Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards Let's he ask. Was. Excuse me, did you say something about a Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. Hello, Dorothy. I'm Dorothy Spottle. Nice to meet you. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Mm. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I uh -oh. can search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Perhaps I can keep an eye out. Why would Bardolph get involved with Rook Rookwood? What if Bardolph doesn't want to be found? Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts so that he's been held captive dun, dun, dun. We'll find out, shall we? Why would he get involved? Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rookwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. All right, perhaps I can keep an eye out. I can certainly look out for him. Any now a certain matter we should discuss. You might speak to Claire first. 
Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. Let's discuss I this. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Okay, noted. I'm going to keep an eye out. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Anyway, I also have another um, question for you. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. Aww. If you wouldn't mind gathering my lovely, some hawk I'll lumps help for you. me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your of time. Of course, I'll gladly do it. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. No worries Serena at all. also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Okay, that's good to know. What was Serona like when she was my age? Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. I love getting to know well, the characters. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year. Oh, I can imagine. All buzzing about Oh, can you imagine charms, having magic during the group. summer? Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. So fun. What was in the box of letters? Oh, I don't know if we should ask, but I am curious. Let's just ask. Do you remember <laughs> anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading That's it. That's so cute. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed. This is very and true. Remain the same. Opinions definitely change. Thank you so much, Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. No worries, I've already done it, but you know. We just need to discover what happened to Bardolf and we need to go find the box of letters. However, you guys, I'm gonna do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. Have a lovely, lovely day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.